In this tutorial, we will learn about rectangular array. Rectangular array command, click on it. Then select the object. You can select as many objects as you want. Then press enter. We created array with 3 rows and 4 columns. You can edit the number of columns from here. Specify the number of columns. Then specify the column spacing. What is the gap between two columns? Then here you can also specify the total length, total column distance. In how much distance you want to fit 6 columns. Suppose I want to fit it in 60. Enter. It will increase the distance between columns accordingly. Same way from here you can define the number of rows, how many you want. Then gap between two rows and the total length. If you want you can also define the total length within which these rows should be fit. If you don't want atoms of the array to be connected you can remove this associative. And if you close array now, so each element will be created separately. They are not connected. We will again try it array. And if you want it to be connected, keep this associative as it is. Then click on close array. You can edit the array by clicking on any one atom of the array. It brings back this interface for editing. You can edit any dimension you want. Then there is some more options are shown here. First is edit source. If you want to make any changes to the original object, you can make it using edit source. Click on edit source. Then select the object you want to modify. Then click on OK. If you want to come out of this array, here one tool is added, save changes or discard changes. By click on it, you can come out of the array. Then make the changes, whatever changes you want to make. I want to create some lines. Here once you update the original object, every object in the array is updated automatically. Then you can come out by clicking on this save changes. Again click on the array. Then there is option for replacement also. If you want some atom to be different, you can replace it with the desired shape you want. Here I want different shape. Suppose this rectangular shape here. Then to change this circular shape to rectangular, click on any one atom from the array. Then click on replace atom. Then select replacement object, this rectangle, then enter. Then give the base point, this center point is as a base point. Then select the, select an atom in the array to replace. I want to replace this, this atom. Press enter and exit. In this way you can replace the atom from the array and if you want the original array back by removing this rectangular shape, click on this reset array. Clicking on this reset array, your original array will come back. Then these labels are useful for 3D array that we will see how to use that. For that we will have to start 3D environment, click on this 3D modeling. Then click on this AC isometric. Then create one object. I want to create one cylinder. Give the center point. Give the radius. Give the height. Make it shaded. Then again array, rectangular array. Select the object. Enter. Now it has created with number of rows and column. You can edit the parameter. Here you can define the levels in Z direction. Suppose I want 5 levels. Then here is the gap between two levels. And here is the total gap. You, if you want to use that. Escape. And here by orbiting you can view that the 3D array is created. If you click on it. In rows there is one more option is there. Incremental elevation. To see this we will create one more object in 3D environment. Suppose we will create one box. Give the first point. Give the dimension. Tab. Then give the height up to. Then we will 
view it in visual style then again we will array it rectangular array enter then we want one column and number of rows to be suppose 10 and the gap between is 3 and then here in the row section in increment we will give the height of 1.5 incremental height of 1.5 so here each row is shifted by the distance of 1.5 or we can give it to so it will touch exactly the upper line okay so in this way you can use this increment elevation option so that's all thanks for watching we will stop here